Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Beanbox. Beanbox is a coffee subscription service that actually contacted me personally and they said we have a cold brew we want you to try and we're gonna send you out a free box. I said free coffee, send it my way. So in this video we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the Beanbox, then we're gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions. After that we're gonna throw those cold brews over to the fridge, chill them down perfectly for, you got it, the sip test. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. After that, we're gonna figure out, is this actually good coffee? Is it something that you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to and buy and all that jazz? All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Right, better mornings delivered fresh. That is awesome, bean box. All right, let's take a look at this one real quick. What's in the box? Oh, very cool. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Good morning sunshine. I like that a lot. Cool. All right. Ooh, this has got a lot of information. I like that. <laughs> All right, Amanda, you definitely will. Very nice. Ooh, hot dog, wow. Okay, very, very nice. Kuma. Broadcast. Johnson House Blend. Oh, that is very, very cool. Okay. Brazil, nice. Roaster's Choice, very, very nice. And a little candy. Why, thank you, Amanda. Yummy. All right, so here is the cold brew rot chair. Let's take a look around this box. All right. Very, very simple. Chill out. I like this box. This is very nice. I also like the size of this. This is like a perfect size. I'm guessing this is probably their sample box right here. That's probably what they sent me. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be what you'll get. Um, but the main thing is how well does this actually taste? Smooth and bright. That's what we got here. Okay. Ingredients. Organic coffee and water. That is all I need, people. That is all I need. All right. Let's see what is in this one. Okay, so this is rich and creamy. Now I'm wondering, okay, organic coffee and water. So there is no additives to this. Very, very nice. All right, yum, wow. All right, so coming up, we are gonna be putting these to a sip test and then these will come down the road. Very nice, all right. Well, I probably should open this up and actually take a look at the spout. Ooh, that is very, very nice. Okay, so the spout is actually in the right way. I did a review on a cold brew once and the spout was like horribly upside down. I believe that one was Java House. <laughs> that is very, very cool. I wonder if this is just a sample or if this is what you get, because I, <laughs> I really like that. That is very, very simple. Very cute looking. Let's open this one up. All right, there we go. We are ready for the fridge life, people. All right, coming up, we're gonna put these to a sip test. All right, so this is the setup I have going right here. I'm gonna be doing a dual sip test to put these bad boys to the test. The top one is the smooth and bright, and the bottom one is the rich and creamy. So we're gonna start off with the top one. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it off camera, and then we'll get into the sip test. 
right, let's get into this sip test. I am super excited to be putting this bean box to the test, cold brew style. So this is what it looks like. It got a little frothy at the top, which is kind of nice. Um, looks like a very, very rich and dark uh, cold brew. The smell is, uh, it, it's, it's very nice. Typically cold brews have a standard smell. And this is a little bit sweeter than a typical. All right, let's get into the sip test. Okay, all right. So the first hit you get is bitter and it kind of flows right up the, the roof of your mouth and down the back of your tongue as bitter. Um, then you get a, ooh, you get an inhale aftertaste of caramel. That is very interesting. Mm. Wow. Yeah, definitely a hit of caramel. So it's it's bitter, and then it's caramel, and then it's a little bit smoky. Ooh, that's very interesting. This is a extremely complex cold brew. Typically, cold brews are uh, a little bit more straight down the middle. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that is very, very interesting. Um, wow. Super complex. This is definitely a cold brew I could see myself drinking, and I don't even like cold brew. <laughs> I am not a fan of cold brew. My beautiful wife absolutely loves cold brew, so she is going to enjoy drinking the rest of this box. I am a hot... <laughs> I'm a hot coffee drinker no matter if it's 150 outside or minus 150 outside. This guy, he's drinking hot coffee. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is definitely delectable. All right, let's get into the next one. Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel. Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, so this one says that it's rich and creamy. So I'm gonna be pouring this into my next glass. So I got that one there, that one's done. Let's get into this bean box. All right, poured it off camera. This one has a little bit less froth on the top. And it looks like it might be a little bit darker. This is the rich and creamy. So let's go ahead and give it the sip test. Whoa, Ooh. whoa, that is extremely sour, extremely citrusy. Yeah, that is extremely citrusy, extremely bitter. I'm almost wondering if it's gone bad. It is such a strong, harsh taste. Definitely not the um, rich and creamy that I would expect, wow. Yeah, something's not right with that. <laughs> that is that is so citrusy, so bitter. Um, and it, it, I do know that these 
cold brews have a shelf life, which is really weird. You're like, coffee has a shelf life? Yeah, these are perishable cold brews. And if they're not consumed uh, within a certain amount of days after you open the box, they can start to taste bad. And if they get too warm, they can also start to taste bad. So I do know that these are definitely susceptible to getting uh, a sour, bitter taste. So I'm gonna say that that one is definitely the result of um, something gone wrong. It, it's very, very strange. They may push back and say nothing's gone wrong. <laughs> It's supposed to taste bitter and the creaminess is somewhere else. I don't know. Um, I mean, it hits me like a, like a lemon. It tastes just like a lemon. Very, very sa sour, very bitter, harsh. Not good at all. So that's interesting. Um, the first sip test was uh, definitely an amazing sip test. The second one, horrible. Um, and I'm not sure, like I said before, I'm not sure if these are actually review boxes or if these are um, the size that they're actually gonna ship out to people. I couldn't imagine it being the, the size they would ship out. I would imagine this would be three times as big. Um, but yeah, that that right there is not is not good at all. All right, so to wrap up these reviews, I would say that uh, definitely ask questions if you're gonna go with this uh, Beanbox cold brew. Okay, so I actually contacted Beanbox back and I said this coffee is crazy bitter. Is there anything that I should know about it? They said, no, it's actually supposed to be bitter. There should be an aftertaste that's creamy and smooth. I did not really taste that, but uh, I could have been off on my tasting. So they said that, don't worry, that's how it's supposed to taste. It is a it is acquired taste, it's unique. So just wanted to let you know that's what they said. So everything in the review is gonna stay the same. I'm not changing a thing. All right. <laughs>All right, you got to the end of the video. Thank you so much for getting here. That was the bean box review. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely clearly clack that like button. If you wanna join the At Home with Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there, I need your help. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube and they should go subscribe. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye